got it. Junie Young is back to show you all how easy it is to make a delicious shrimp po' boy. Shrimp po' boy, Junie Young style. This recipe is absolutely amazing. Easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients. If you make a Jeannie Young style, you'll love me for this recipe. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need. You will need fresh shrimp. I have some beautiful shrimp here, okay? And you're gonna need some bread. I decided to, I have two breads here. I'm gonna figure which one I'm gonna use. I have bouillon, and then I have um, a French bread. We have nice, beautiful, fresh tomatoes, and we have romaine lettuce. We have some spices to make it taste good. We have salt, pepper, Cajun seasoning, and paprika. And we're gonna make a sauce using this horseradish mayonnaise, um, mustard, and ketchup. And right here, I have buttermilk and hot sauce. We have some all-purpose flour. We're gonna use vegetable oil to fry the shrimp. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing shrimp po' boy, Jenny Young style. I couldn't be more excited to show you all how easy it is to make this recipe. And if you love seafood, you're in for a treat. If you love a good, healthy sandwich, you're in for a treat. So the first thing that we want to do, we're going to make our sauce. We're going to cut some veggies. And then I'll quickly show you how to season and batter your shrimp. Let's get started on the veggies. Listen, when you bring those veggies home, wash them off. Wash them off. You never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home. And then you always want to wash off the pesticides, right? I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Somebody, anybody in the comment section below, let me know, have you had a seafood poor boy before? Do you say poor boy or a po' boy? What, what, which way do you like to say it? I'd love to know in the comment section. I feel more like I want to say poor boy, but I know it's po' boy, but I feel kind of funny saying it. It just feels funny when I say po' boy. <laughs> you let me know how you say it. So we're slicing up the tomatoes, and I'd like to show you how I'm slicing them so they'll set in our sandwich just nice and flat, just like so. Okay, I'm going to cut a nice amount because I'm going to be making several sandwiches. In this video, I'll be showing you one sandwich, but I'm going to cut a nice amount of veggies. Go ahead and cut up our cap lettuce, not cabbage, lettuce. You could use cabbage. All right. I have the romaine. Romaine is going to be crispy and fresh and just beautiful every time. All right, so we're gonna do a number like this. Look at that, it's so crispy, crunchy. This is what you want on your po' boy. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut it once this way. I feel like this is plenty enough. There we go. Okay, so we have anything that we need to cut that's done and out the way. And we have it there just like so. I guess if you wanted to use like a nice, sweet, fresh onion, you could, but I'm not gonna put onions on this. And I'm also not gonna put cheese on it. There's gotta be somebody in the comment section that's gonna say, Gina, where's the cheese? How come you didn't put cheese on it? I do have a video where I put cheese on it. So now if you take a look at my bowl here, I have buttermilk and hot sauce. If you don't wanna use hot sauce, you don't have to. If you want to season up the buttermilk, absolutely you can. I'm not going to, okay? Because enough seasoning is gonna go onto our shrimp and together the buttermilk and the hot sauce gets a great zip and zing. Okay, so now we're gonna season just like so using Cajun seasoning and you can tell I'm using a lot. <laughs> yep, and some paprika just like so in this manner, and then we'll move everything around. If I haven't said, I hope y'all are having a great day today. I hope you're having a most splendid day today. All right, there's salt, here's pepper, and then we mix everything in. Beautiful, I want those seasonings to sit onto the shrimp, oh, for about, let's just say seven minutes. And when I come back, the shrimp go into the marinade. Let's take our shrimp that has been seasoned. Let's get it into the buttermilk and the hot sauce. And I'd like to let it set for between 15 and 25 minutes, just like so. Pretty simple, right? 
absolutely. Let's get started on the sauce, an easy peasy delicious sauce. All right, if you wanna use a different mustard, by all means you can. Use Dijon if that's what you love. Mustard, okay, and I happen to have this horseradish um, mayo that is superb. I'm gonna use that. And then I wanna put some ketchup in it. We're gonna mix the three together and voila. We're gonna have an amazing sauce that we're gonna spread onto our beautiful bread and it's gonna taste good. It's gonna taste good. Mix it, mix it. All right, let's go ahead and you can see how I'm shaking a lot of the marinade off. Purposely do that, all right? And then we're just gonna put it right into our flour if you want to season your flour. By all means you can. I definitely have enough seasoning onto the shrimp where I don't need to season my flour. So let's get this all taken out of the marinade into the flour, and then we're gonna to toss it real good into each part of the uh, shrimp is nice and coated, just like so. And in the meantime, between time, you need to heat your oil up. And I'll show you how much oil I'm gonna be using to fry our shrimp as well. Our shrimp is nice and coated. All right, so I'm giving it a little shake. Give it a little shake, just so you can get all the flour off that, you you know, you don't want a whole bunch of extra flour drop into the bottom of your pan and burning. So do what you can to shake it off, okay? And then um, it's gonna go in the hot oil. Your oil must be hot in order for this to turn out perfect, nice, beautiful, and crispy, just like so. First thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of flour, see if my oil's hot, and it is, and then we're gonna put them. Now listen, when you're cooking seafood, don't overcook it. You don't want it to taste and, and have a feel like rubber bands, right? So do not overcook it. And I highly suggest, there are times where you'll see Gina Young make um, fried shrimp and I leave the tail on, but not for a sandwich, right? Just not for a sandwich. So I have taken the tail off, it does not take forever and a day to cook this. Once you get that beautiful color, you know it's done. I'd like to say about three minutes on the shrimp and that's it. Let's take a peek in. It's been just about, oh, I'd like to say two minutes. Oh, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Nice and crispy, they're gonna be juicy. They're gonna have that snap. Ever bit down into a shrimp, it should have a nice snap to it. These are definitely gonna have that snap and so flavorful. Take a look at the shrimp. Look at, took it. Ah, ha, ha. Yep, that's what it looks like. And so now we have our bread. I decided to go ahead and use this beautiful French bread here, okay? But I need to slice it. So I'm gonna go straight down the middle using a serrated knife, of course. And if you wanna take out some of this beautiful bread in the inside, sure you can, okay? And so how I like to do that is you just carve out a nice amount, you know? Um, and then don't throw it away. Put it in the freezer bag, and next time you need breadcrumbs, use this to make your breadcrumbs, okay? So we'll take out some of that nice, beautiful, fluffy bread. It smells so good. Next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna wrap it in a damp paper towel, just a damp paper towel that has cold water on it. It's not soaking wet, okay? I wanna kind of steam our bun to make it nice and soft. I'm, you guys, what you'll notice about me is I'm just not a person that likes to butter the buns and um, toast them. I'm just not. I like to make the bun nice and soft, do like a little steam in the microwave. Just about a good 15 to 20 seconds is all you're gonna need to make this bun nice and soft. When I come back, we'll assemble our poor boy, Jeannie Young style. Let's start off by showing you what the microwave did. Oh, my bread is so soft. <laughs> yep, I'm all excited, and you should be too. Sauce, oh, both sides? Yep, both sides, Gina. Okay, we'll do it. Mmm. All right, there we go, gorgeous. Okay, next thing, put lettuce. Oh, oh, oh. okay, I'm reloaded. Look at that. Mm. Shrimp, <laughs> did someone say shrimp? You bet they did. Oh, shrimp Gina Young style. Oh, my goodness. 
Okay, so now when it comes to the tomatoes, we're gonna salt and pepper these babies, make them taste good, okay? Put as much or as least. If you don't like tomatoes, don't use them. Mm. All right, where's the salt and pepper when you need it? It's right next to me. Okay, you stay nestled right there. You just stay right there. Pepper. A little bit of salt, just a little bit. You can't use it, don't use it. Ha! <sighs> We'll close it, and then we'll add more shrimp. Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh, she's not kidding you. Oh, my goodness. Are you excited? <laughs> Listen here. If you enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends. Tell everyone you know what Jeannie Young's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful meal today. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, delicious, homemade shrimp poor boy. Make you so. Mmm.